A lot of people collect their great-grandfather and grandfather watches. But have you ever thought about collecting your great-grandfather or grandfather's razor? Well, there's a place that can help you restore them and start your own collection. It's the Razor Emporium. Okay, meet Tall Matt, or Matt, who is the founder of the Razor Emporium. And, and Matt, this is really cool because this all came about for your love of razors, right? right? Yeah. So, and, and how this all get started? You know, uh, years ago, I was looking for a better way to shave like anyone else, and I was tired of the cartridges and electric razors and razor bumps, and someone said, you should try a vintage double-edged razor. So, got in my car, went down to an antique store, and found an old Gillette razor. It's all beat up, and I'm like, how can we make this look better? And it just set me down this path of fixing it and restoring it and getting into the shaving creams and brushes. And before you know it, you've got a huge warehouse and you've got a bunch of people you know, restoring razors for you. So I don't, it's just, it's crazy. I love it. I love, okay, there you go. You said about restoring razors. Yes. Because again, I've seen my grandfather's, my great grandfather's just sitting there. It looks like junk. You're ready to throw it away. Yep. But no, you actually bring it back to life yes. and bring it back to the value that it is, right? That's right. You know, uh, back in the 50s, 60s, Gillette was making razors that were such a high level of quality, stamped brass, American made. And it's so sad when you see these, like you said, in the junk drawer, beat up, disheveled, the plating's gone, it's all bent and broken. We can take those and put a brand new lease on life. We can polish them, replate them, put them back to factory spec. And you've got something that's incredibly well made and it's going to keep on being working for you today. Yeah, and you do all this right here right in here. here. So run really quick how you actually restore one. Sure. So we start by taking the razor, we take all the original finish off, and we're going to polish the pieces, and then it gets plated in our laboratory, put a brand new coat of nickel, 24 karat gold, or rhodium on it, put it back together, send it back to the customer. Wow, and it's all kind of like a science back there, isn't oh, it? Oh, it's like a science lab. If you've seen Breaking Bad and you like chemistry, <laughs> that's what we got here. It's all chemistry, it's all cool, um, and it's it's honestly, I had no background in this, I, I've, I've, but I've come to love chemistry now and science. I have a background in business, but you know, I, I saw a need in the market, I saw this hole, no one else was doing this, so now we're doing it. I love it. Okay, so that is of course restoring and taking care of yeah, the sure. old ones, but if you're into collecting them and starting your own collection, you have all this different type of razors here and you teach people about them, which is really cool, cool. but also to the point where you start your own line That's right. of razors called Rex. That's right. And so, but, Rex. but what I love about this is that <laughs> you really started to see what people needed, and yes. you have an adjustable one, which is kind of interesting, don't, aren't, don't you? Yes, yes. So, um, you know, a, a lot of people in the market kept on asking me, they said, Matt, you've got all this background in restoring. What if you made your own line of razors? So, we started another company called Rex, and it kind of stands for the Razor Emporium Experience. All the experience of 10 years of restoring these, and now we're machining these here in Phoenix, Arizona. We do all the laser and assembly work, and now people around the world can buy Rex razors, and it is something very unique in the market. Stainless steel, American made, adjustable. Not, no one else does this. So, and then they teach you about, of course, shaving, which is That's so right. important. And one thing I've learned, uh, and that is the slanted uh, oh, razor, yes. which is kind of interesting. Tell me a little about that really quick. You know, it's kind of the idea of the guillotine. Uh, I know it's, it's a crazy thing to think about, but the guillotine had this you know, kind of unique way of cutting on an angle, and people back in Germany in the 30s thought the same thing. If we cut the hairs on an angle, it actually is a cleaner, more comfortable shave. So now we have an adjustable slanted razor. Very, very cool, very unique. Yeah, well, one thing that you have to understand, people, about the razor emporium that it's the only kind in the world. That's right. Because not only do you have the razors, but you have, of course, all the shaving needs people have yes. from some of our local companies, That's but true. also companies across the pond, too. That's right. We have we have our own line of products we make in-house. We have stuff that's made, in, like you said, in Casa Grande and, and, and Chandler. But then we import stuff from Italy, from Spain, from Portugal, from England, from Germany. We import stuff from around the world. And this is the only place on planet Earth that brings all these competencies together. The restoration, the manufacturing, manufacturing our own razors, all the shaving creams and aftershaves, the brushes, no more else does it all under one roof. Razor Emporium. I love it. There it is. Also, if you are trying to figure out what's the best way to shave, he has an online uh, YouTube, course, channel. YouTube channel that oh, you can yeah. check out. But the other part too is just stop in and, and check. When you get in here, you're gonna be like me, like a kid in a candy store if you're into shaving, uh, because they have the brushes, they have the razors, they have the powders, they have the soap, they have everything you need right there. But what I love too is that I have a son now that him and I are gonna start having this as our way of collecting 
things and of course sharing them. Dude, it's so cool. It's something you can pass down, like you said, to your kids. It's something you can also use the past. You can use grandfather's razor. And there's nothing else. You know, you got a nice pair of glasses. Maybe grandfather's old glasses don't fit. Maybe his old pants don't fit. His old shoes are broken, but his old razor can be brought back to life and you can use it once again. There it is. Tell them how they can find the Razor Emporium. You can come down to Razor Emporium. We are at 37th Street in Washington. You can find us online at RazorEmporium.com and all social media. Just search Razor Emporium. We're going to come up. I like it. All right. Oh man, I'll tell you, uh, that is just the most incredible place. And we have Matt here himself, yeah. the Razor Emporium right, right there. And again, Matt has a beard uh, when he owns the razors, but the reason why is that you have a YouTube uh, channel. Yeah, for our YouTube channel, we're kind of showing people how to grow a beard. So I'm about two months in, maybe one month left to go. And how to trim them and get them right. How to get it all right, yeah. So, yeah. And, and Steve, we know that you you shave, so which is really important. Yeah, unfortunately, <laughs> I have to shave all the time. But <laughs> nobody wants to see me with hair. That's it. I was saying, a couple years ago, I let it grow out. And we let the fans vote, and yeah. overwhelming, they're like, shave. Well, you know what, you being here in Arizona, as I guess we want you to leave with a little gift here, so I thought for sure the Raisin Poirier would be the best for you. So oh, what'd you bring you. him really quick, Matt? I brought him a, a traditional Edwin Jagger razor made in England, double edge razor. We brought him a shaving soap that we make in-house, old wow. school. Smell old that. school, I love Smell that. Smell that, that's gonna just blow your mind. Oh, I wanna eat that. Yeah. <laughs> we brought you even a traditional brush, so if you wanna you know, whip that up into a lather, you got oh. a nice badger brush and, here. And I was saying, this is like, this is how my dad shit. Right? Back yeah. 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 So now you're It's a whole event. We, we just brought you all the goods. So you're, you're ready to do this for real now. You can start double-edged shaving at home. Uh, I, so I, I, I got to come and do the show every day. I'm getting all these nice shirts and shirts.